Hi there, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I want to share with you how to create a easy pop-up using a WordPress uh, plugin that's become a favorite of mine and that I've used on a couple of sites. Um, and so the name of this plugin is called Boxzilla. And so if you go to wordpress.org and just type in Boxzilla, um, you can see here this is the plugin and essentially it's a plugin um, that's quite powerful in terms of allowing you to do call to actions via a pop-up or slide in box. Uh, you know for your given WordPress site and so there are many different features that come with this out of box they also have a premium add-on so it is a freemium plug-in if you will to let you use it for free but then to use some of the more upgraded uh, features um, or additional features then you'll have to pay for it uh, but nevertheless I'm using a local um, edition of uh, WordPress or a local host of WordPress here and so let's go ahead and get uh, started and so one of the things um, oftentimes I'll log in here hopefully I can remember my password and I can um, so a lot of times what you expect with most pop-ups is that it'll be a form and so um, I'm gonna show you the pop-up of what it looks like on um, our church's website and so basically when you click the button you'll look there in the lower left hand corner when I hover over it you'll see it says run script boxzilla dot show um, and then that given um, that given button or that given ID for that given Boxzilla and so when you click it that's essentially what happens it gives you a little pop-up now we have uh, what we call community group cards we actually have physical cards that look very much like this so we wanted uh, to give this same an extension of the physical um, experience to we wanted to lend that or extend it to the virtual presence uh, that being said, I'm going to show you how to create just a simple pop-up using Boxzilla. And what I did, I actually installed um, contact forms um, here in the plugins. We'll load uh, plugin. Let's go back to plugins. And so I created a couple test forms, which we'll come back and we'll get those. But basically, I loaded contact form seven, so you can load that plugin as well. Uh, but to load Boxzilla, we'll go ahead and click Add New. Type in Boxzilla. Let's see if I can spell it. And basically allow it to run the search. And then once it comes up on search, you can click to install now. And then once it installs, uh, you can go ahead and activate it. And so we'll activate. And then Boxzilla will appear there. And then you can go into the settings. And then now, basically, it'll allow you to enable a test mode. So if you wanted to do a test mode, you could. Um, or it'll basically, you can go to all boxes. And there's a sample box that's already there. Um, and we'll just click it just to see what's in the sample box and so basically it says hello world this is a sample box with some sample content in it um, the beautiful thing about this is so back over in we'll go back to the contact forms real quick and if we wanted to we could do a test form and we'll just go ahead and copy the short code of that go back to Boxilla. let's add a new one and we'll call this test form now imagine that you could create your own form or you could also uh, use forms such as MailChimp or constant contact if they give you uh, the necessary code there then from here you know you can select what what color you want the background to be uh, what color you want the text to be if you want the the uh, border um, you know to be a different color what the border width should be on it and then you can basically place uh, the box within I'm just gonna do uh, 350 um, and then border style you can do, do solid dash dotted double 
And then here, um, in terms of the box options, you can load this box if it request if the request matches any or all of the following conditions. So you can put it on everywhere. You can put it on um, certain pages. Uh, so you can have multiple boxes, or if they come from a certain uh, refer referral URL. So let's say that you do a magazine ad, um, and it's an online ad that. Uh, you know they basically come from this link and so whatever the URL is or whatever the actual refer is uh, you can base it on that uh, for now we're just gonna leave it everywhere you can say that it can pop up either on the top left bottom left top right we're gonna make it center um, we're gonna basically tell it to fade in and then we're gonna tell it uh, to appear after five seconds you can uh, change this to be never based on seconds based on where they um, scroll so a lot of times you may scroll to the bottom of the page and then oftentimes you'll see uh, the pop-up appear or when certain elements are triggered you can trigger uh, certain boxes to appear um, and then you can put cookies on there um, you can auto hide it you can show or hide the close icon and that's that so We'll go ahead and we will uh, publish this. Okay. Click publish. Let that be that. All right. And now when we go Let's just go to a post or maybe even a page. So we'll just make this uh, the home page here. Say so this is a test page. And basically, what you could do is put this in here, put a little code in. And essentially, uh, let's see, JavaScript. Box. Scylla. And then the other thing to note is that we, we should have gotten the, um, which we'll just open up a new tab here. And we'll get whatever that ID was. So it was 60. Okay. We'll go back. We'll put that in. And I just want to check one more thing here. Boxilla show. Okay. Um, so it's boxilla dot show. We'll update. And then what we'll do is go to the home page and then if you click this link ta-da now your box shows um, and so there are many different things you can actually hide this um, scroll bar if you if you like and it'll still scroll you may have to use uh, CSS I think it's like open WebKit or WebKit uh, to hide that but you can customize this with CSS and the like and so it creates a uh, interesting um, experience, and it's like I said, it's it's low budget, easy to use. I mean, and basically less than about eight minutes time, you've already set up a uh, contact us form with um, a pop up box, and you can do this, like I said, for any uh, any page. And so definitely feel free to use Boxilla. Feel free to leave me comments or questions below this video. There's so much more that we could jump into that we're not. I just wanted to show how easy it is to use Boxilla uh, in combination with other plugins such as Contact Form 7 or even um, even WordPress, I mean even uh, MailChimp as well as Constant Contact or any other um, email you know marketing service provider. Um, if they provide you a form, then you can certainly use it. So feel free to leave us comments or questions. Also, please subscribe to the video um, YouTube channel here, uh, Kickstart Commerce. And so I drop a video every Wednesday, uh, try to anyway, um, and I share tips on WordPress you know, tips and tricks, search marketing, um, even domain investing strategies that basically help you grow your business. So any digital discipline, I try to basically share 
um, you know, what I found to work. And so I certainly would appreciate your you subscribing. Also visit kickstartcommerce.com and scroll down here to the Daily Scoop newsletter to where I basically, if you sign up, then you'll receive in your inbox on a daily, if not weekly basis, um, tips and tricks for various um, digital disciplines and strategies to help grow your business. So thanks. And until the next tutorial, I'll holla at you later.